what's going on guys my name is Waylon as you probably already know um yeah this is me failing at doing redstone right now uh this is a little map I made you know nothing big it's just a small little map I wanted to that's what I wanted to do right there that's not what I wanted that's what I, that is not what I wanted Okay, well, obviously, you can see what this is right here. Um, somewhere around here, there's a Enderman slowly dying. And he's invisible. But, as you can see, you know, it just spawned an Enderman. Not a single one is taken, because there's actually 127 in each of these little s squares. Not the whole dispenser, the individual squares. Because, same right here with the splash potions of invisibility. Uh, that is because I used um, Sithling's freaky little filter for MC Edit. I don't, I can't remember the name of it right now. But yeah, what I made right here, it's basically just well. See, this is where you start the game. Hit the tripwire, activates this, says, Welcome to the game, find all eight notes, all eight notes to win, but where Slender, Slender will find you. Then, it'll also send off this pulse for these repeaters, and it'll say, Find the notes, Slender will attack randomly, so be careful, because this is an Enderman spawner. This one will spawn an Enderman, then it'll give it a... a uh, Splash Potion of in Invisibility, you can't see it, but if you look at it, it will still attack you, I believe it is, and so it kind of gives that slender feel to it, and then this will set your spawn point to something I have way over there, I'll show you in just a second, and also set your game mode to survival, make sure you can't cheat. It has a little comparator set up right here to pull C's on and off whenever that one's activated. It also has a comparator there to activate this, which will activate my little clock here. I had that right there so I could see if that worked. And yeah, when you come out, see these are all trap chests, so you open them, it gives you something. This has a node in it. Now this first fresh plate right here will give you a blindness effect, an infinite blindness. And that here, this one, the second one, will say good luck, you'll need it, and you'll get a stack of stone, just in case some of these are like in trees and all, and you may need to dig, you may need to, but you got to be freaking kidding me. And that's what gives you the stone there. Uh, my advice, if you play this map, I will include a download in one of my videos whenever I finish it. Don't open this chest because there will be a book in here. In fact, let me just give myself some milk real quick. Open it. And it'll say, uh-oh. I'll just get a copy of it so I don't move it. You broke the seal of sanity. Now, you and your friends are... I've did two R's, please forgive that. Curse with drunkness. And it gives you a it gives you infinite nausea effect. And I can only get rid of it because I have that. Now there are chests all around. As you can see there's one right well no. As you can see there's one right here. That is that's one of the notes. Some of these chests will have notes in them, like a lot of these. I have some, I have some more chests I want to work out. I want to do some more like this right here, some more troll chests. And I, I will scatter them all the way around in this world. Now let me fly this way. It'll take me just a second to get there, though. <laughs> Yeah, there it is.
You can see here there's this little glowstone hut. This is going to be the spawn area whenever you come into the world. You will start here. You press the button one at a time to get one at a time to start game because you need to press the button once one person so it has time to run through this one it'll uh, TP you over to the obsidian this one will set your game up to survival I know I have another one over there for survival that is just in case if that one misses you that one won't and then oops um, then whenever you say like okay I'm ready or type in the chat done then the next person presses it and this is the spectate whenever you die you'll go there because there's one over there that sets your uh, spawn point to the second room uh, please ignore my skype right now uh, it'll tp you back to the obsidian it'll give you creative mode and it'll give you a night vision effect so what i would suggest doing is as soon as you press that button double jump or something press space again something because you will spawn here and fall down onto it now I think I just went over these that gives you blindness uh, says something gives you stone start spawning invisible endermen which would work if it wasn't raining I should install a damage indicators or something with this but I don't know how without the use of magic watcher or whatever uh, but yeah guys um, this is my slender map first real map that I'm really working on trying to release but um yeah I will try to make this into a server and maybe you guys could play with me I don't know um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly how much sounds I can explain, other than, I don't know how to get my skin to work for 1.6, so if anybody could please help me, oh, yeah, I want to put, like, some hanging animals or something to, you know, kind of give it that dark feel to it, like, coming in right here, and then there just be... You just walk and then all of a sudden a zombie or something. No, zombies don't work. Like a horse just drops down in front of you. You could have a chest that has like some horse eggs in it. So you can spawn your ride. Alright, well guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this would be it for this one. But if there's any other map review that you would like me, me to do. Trying to set up a new map. Do something that y'all want me to do. I don't care if it's so much as posting video of me doing something really stupid IRL uh, I'll do it I, I just want to be entertaining now I had someone uh, send me a message asking me to be a little bit funnier it's just you know I'm going through a lot right now things aren't working out too well with my girlfriend uh, we're, we're still trying to figure things out and um that's so it's gonna be a while for you know my mood brightens up enough for I can be funny again. But once I once it is, you know, I'll be back to my old retarded self that I was before I started YouTube, or and or how I am on the weekends. Please ignore my Skype. I'm just about to check it. Okay, guys. Um, thank you.